God bless you, Brother Paul. God bless you too, Pastor. All right. Yeah. Hello, children. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you all and your smiling faces. Amen. Good to see you and always glad to spend this time with you. I know that you've had a long day and a good day, and we're going to have a good session of teaching right now. So the first thing we're going to do is pray. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today. Thank you, God, for life, health, and for strength. Thank you, God, for meeting every one of our needs. We thank you because you are a God of love. <laughs> now, God, we gather together to learn more about your word. We thank you for Father John, Mom Mary, Brother Paul, everyone, and that as we learn together about your word, that we will receive strength and joy and love that comes from you. In amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, Brother Paul. Yeah. Yeah, it, we thank God for this moment. It's been a good week. We've been busy trying to take care of everything. And we thank God. God has been faithful unto us. He has always been meeting all our needs. That's why we have a reason to praise him today. Amen. So, so we're going to sing and give the poem and then give, give the verse. And then next week, we'll be preparing a new verse to add okay. on top of the other one. All right. Yeah. What are you I love Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah. So we are going to give the poem and then the verse last. So the same poem. Back to my vision of us. So, so. Good that I bless, never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. So we are going to give the, the verse. Mighty chapter 6, verse 33, it says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Amen. Well done. So, we actually just went through a lesson uh, because Brother Paul should what we call tenacity in continually trying to get in the room to make sure that we could communicate today. And so I want to thank you, Brother Paul, for that. 
that you kept on trying so that we could have this moment of teaching. Very important. And so I got to hear most of your singing. I got to hear the poem, got to hear the scripture verse. And you know what? The Bible talks about hiding the word of God in our heart so that we might not sin against him. So it's very important to learn scriptures. They help to develop you, to mature you into good adults so that you will keep the Bible's golden rule of do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. So very good. So my lesson today, hold on. My lesson today is a very simple one. And uh, you were doing a lot of it. Because my message today is clap your hands. That's what my lesson is. Let me see you clap your hands. That's right. Now, you, you clap your hands in song, in thanksgiving, in joy. That's when you clap your hands. God has given us natural instruments of praise, of thanksgiving, of joy, of communicating. And so be careful, little hands, what you do. Know that these hands are to be used for good, to glorify God. Let me share a scripture verse with you. It comes from Psalms 47, verse 1. And it says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. So let me talk to you about that. God is creator of all. That means that every time he permits you and me to go through something and we are successful, then we ought to clap our hands for God. We ought to give God thanks. That's our way of saying thank you. For example, when you run a race and somebody wins the race, all the crowd do what? They clap their hands, yay! They're celebrating. When you do a good work, when you guys, you're building the kitchen, I'm over in Bermuda, I'm here going, wow, that's great. And so the hand clapping is a sign of joy and excitement and agreement and congratulations. And God, I thank you. God, I worship you. God, I sing unto you. So I clap my hands. And so I want you to remember that when you go to church and they're singing a song, you clap your hands. When you're with me on a Wednesday and you're singing the song such as, I love you, Jesus, you are my savior, you should be clapping your hands because you're celebrating the goodness of God. Now, I see some of the little boys there. Is everybody paying attention to Dr. Maria? Mm, I'm watching you. That's right. Because we want to make sure that we are giving you hand claps of praise. There you go. There you go. Because you see, it is when our behavior is pleasing to God that we clap the hands. If not, we correct our behavior. So it's not horrible when you miss it. It's horrible when you don't correct it. We all fall short of the glory of God. We all can miss it, but we try to do better the next time. All right, are you still there, Paul? Yep, okay, it froze for a moment. I was just making sure. And make sure before you speak, yeah. there you go. You can hear me? Okay, good, you can hear me. And so here, here's my advice, boys and girls. Always be ready 
to clap your hands. Now why? It's a sign of joy. It's a sign of agreement. You congratulate other people by clapping your hands. God has given us 10 fingers, two hands, so that we can clap and honor him in all that we do. And so no matter what goes on through the day, be sure that you are honoring God, that you are doing what God says to do. So that's my lesson today. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Oh, yeah. Every time we win, we clap our hands. Every time God causes us to have the victory. Come on, we all know the victory sign. Let me see you do the victory sign, children. Do the victory sign. V, V, V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Victory. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You know, in Bermuda, we say peace, peace, right? Yeah. That means that we got it. We got this. That means to me as a Christian, it means God's got this. We will never fail because God will cause us to be more than a conqueror. And so I want to clap my hands for you. Let me clap. And thank you for being good boys and girls. Thank you so much. Brother Paul. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, Pastor, for that encouragement. It was such a great and a good encouragement for us that we need to keep on clapping and we need to congratulate. So I want them to, to agree with you. I want them to congratulate you for the great lesson that you've given to us. So they're going to do the Pasha and then they're going to clap for you. So to Pasha, Pasha. Pasha, Pasha, Kabisha. Pasha, Pasha, Pasha. Pasha, Angusha. Ingine, Ingine, Amusha. Thank you very much, Pasta. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was such a blessing. And we thank God for that. And we hope to carry on with everything to the glory of God. And we thank God for you because you've been motivating us each and every time. And you, you, you're a blessing. Amen. And God is using you to be a blessing unto us. Because sometimes we feel more motivated and we feel more encouraged to do more and more when people motivate us. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So God bless you. Thank you. I can't, I can't wait to see God bless you. <laughs> well, he is blessing me over yes. and over again. And that allows yes. us to continue to have joy and to bless others where and when we can. So, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. So, my father is here. Uh -huh. you'll, have, you'll have to say something before we close. Okay. Hi, Hi there. Maria. God bless you. Uh, bless you too. Thank you so much for the lesson. Uh, in fact, uh, always when I came to to have an opportunity and meet uh, with these lessons, I'm so blessed. And uh, I want to thank you for uh, for your avail availability every time and uh, holding us with your both hands. <laughs> especially taking care for these children uh, in spiritual and uh, also in physically. The reason I say physically is because you always give something that you get and making sure that we are going forward with any project or anything that we want to do. Mm -hmm. So we pray so much for Bermuda Church. We hope one time God will give you enough way to take all this home there <laughs> and and the same in Bermuda chat so we also hope that uh, one time we'll meet here and see you physically amen not by the, not by the screen that's right <laughs> with all your team we also praying God to give you enough money and the time and also to open the way and especially this time of covid Mm -hmm. so that you can come as a big team 
and stay with us. Thank you so much. Amen. You're welcome, Father John. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much, Pastor. All right. Yeah, we, thank God. we thank God for you. And may God see you through everything. Amen. Amen. And God will remember you. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes even people don't have time for other people. They've got more businesses to do, but you've always been kind and loving to us. Give yourself and to give your strength and your time to us. God bless you. There's a song that you normally sing. Okay. You normally bless. So we normally do like this. We normally bless like this. In Swahili, you say, we, know, we normally do with both hands. So they're going to, to bless you. And then you're going, you, 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 you're not going to bless. You, you're going to receive. <laughs> Can you receive like this? Do like this? Yeah, like that. So do you know Caribbean or Kunima? Caribbean or Kunima? Caribbean or Kunima? You know him, Kunima? Abba, Abba, Rikiwe, Abba, Rikiwe, Abba, Rikiwe, Abba, Rikiwe, Tuna, Tuna, Kupenda, Tuna, Kupenda. So when you say ubarikiwe, when you say ubarikiwe, we mean you be blessed. So when you say ubarikiwe, and then when we say tunakupenda, we say we love you. Ah, uh, unakapanda. Tu tu nakupenda. Tuna kapanda. Yeah, tu nakupenda. Okay, I love you too. Yeah. yeah. Thank wow. you very much. Beautiful. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you for the song of blessing. I received that. Amen. And now we're going to close out in prayer. And um, this session will be will be complete. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we approach your throne room today. God, thank you for this time that we've spent together. It has been precious. Thank you for the song, the word, the lessons, and the prayers. Now, God, I ask that you continue to be with Great Hope Children's Home. Remember, Father John, touch Mother Mary's body. We thank you that you are a healer. You love us. You meet our needs. You are our supplier. You are great God. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and him giving his life for our lives. Now, God, be with us as we part from each other for a space of time. Continue to bless and keep. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And thank you, Brother Paul, for everything that you do. I appreciate yeah. you very much. Yeah. God bless you too. God continue to bless you also. Bye. Bye. Bye, boys and girls. Bye, children. See you the next time. Take care. Bye. See you later. All right, I see you there. All right, Calvin. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, hello. Little ones. Hi. Hi to you. Wow. Hello. They are precious. They are precious. Oh, Bye. I appreciate that. Take care. We'll see you the next time. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye-bye.